Hi friends, this is Seth of the Sickness LPs, here to bring you another exciting episode of Curry's Epic Yarn, in which I think we will do the bonus level we unlock. That's not the bonus level we unlock, but it still looks like a bonus level, so I'm wondering what's up with that. Probably nothing, but if there is something up with that, we'll be sure to check it out. I almost thought for a second there was Pyramid Sands we might have been going to, but apparently it's Temper Temple, the Temperate Zone. So let's just do that now. So yeah, um, let's start... Uh, I'm recording this in the morning, more or less, so, well, kind of midday, but still kind of in the morning for me. I don't usually record at this hour, so you'll hear a lot of, um, uh, clearing my throat, like, <clears throat> like that, which is exactly why I don't record at this hour, usually. But I want to record, like, two episodes today, so, uh, you know, well, not two episodes of Kirby's Epic Yarn, it's that I also want to record, um, er, the finale of, uh, Twilight Princess. Yes, I somehow forgot what I wanted to record, which is kind of weird. Anyways, we start off this level as dowsing awesomeness Kirby the Firefighter, who also apparently needs a theme song. I'm going to have to think that up. But anyways, um, yes, so we're going to do that. And not much else to say about this place. Jeez, my throat really sucks. This was a bad idea to record this early. Uh, yeah, so, uh, how are you guys? I'm cool. Today is... I don't remember what day we are today. Oh, we're Thursday. I know this because, um, this will be the first day of my guitar lessons. Yes, I will have guitar lessons, and that will be pretty fun. And I'll kind of be able to play the guitar a bit better than I was able to when I didn't have guitar lessons. You know, because that totally makes sense, which it actually does. It makes complete sense, actually, so... Let us get some beads. I don't know. I, yeah. Th th this commentary right now is exactly why I do not record at this hour usually. Exactly why. This was a bad idea to begin with, but yeah. So let's do this. And, ah, uh, these guys keep scaring me because I don't like them. What is up with you? I feel as though you should be able to go in there, but no, it's just a weird place to allow the weird, fiery things to do their weird, dirty work. Weird, dirty work. We actually have a gold rank already, which is kind of weird. I'm wondering if maybe this is just a really short level, or if maybe it just had... No, I think it had three treasures. I mean, I saw three treasures on the screen, didn't I? Or maybe I was seeing things. I probably see things. Yeah, so... What's worse is not only am I recording really early, so I'm kind of tired and stuff, but, uh... It's, uh, I actually have allergies, like, this time of year, and I think you could kind of hear some of it in the last episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. My voice was a bit off compared to how it usually is, and that's essentially it. That kind of thing tends to bother me around this particular time of year, so this time of day mixed with this time of year is not a recording time. I don't know what I was thinking, but we'll make the best of it. We'll start dowsing flames and doing all sorts of stuff and kind of wish that we had treasures here so that we didn't feel like we were missing every single treasure humanly available to us to miss, but uh, yes, I made that. I don't know, I felt like going down here for a second for whatever reason. I am just weird like that. I decide to do things because I can. Um, what are we doing here? Uh, I'm really kind of confused here because we're not getting any treasures whatsoever. Once again, me and my one-track Wario-type mind just wanting treasures, treasures, treasures! But no, I do feel like we should have at least got one by now, especially since we're like mega gold medal awesomeness. Ah, split path, damn, really? I just want to bet I'm going to take the total wrong path. Well, this path seems to have more flamethrowers, so it's obviously guarding something important. Apparently, a bead token is considered abundantly important to me. Let us... What? What? What What I do? What did I do? I, I didn't see any... What? Okay, apparently I got Quilty Square. This new music plays in Quilty Square. Okay... I don't know where I got that, but okay, sure, why not? That works for me. I mean, it's it's kind of a treasure. I don't know how a disc is a treasure, because I mean, like, can't you just buy one of them on Amazon for like 12 bucks, just saying? 
And that's probably the end of the level when I missed like two treasures. What? How the heck did I manage that? This place is not that big anyway, so let me just turn on my thing so I know how much time has went into this episode. Five minutes. That was an easy episode. Except for the part where I missed all the treasures. Come on, okay, three stars, that's kind of good. So, let's happy dance. And now they're car happy dancing, so that's pretty cool. Oh, well, what's this? Huh, we get another level from that special level. So apparently if you get the secret stage from the boss, you can get another level from that secret stage you got. And I did miss two treasures. I suck at Kirby's in general. As you all know by now. But, I don't know. I'll have to... Ugh, get those treasures back. It's gonna be hell. Anyways, I guess I, I already know where this goes, so just for awesomeness, I'll show you exactly where to drop it. Whoa! And I should have probably not done that, but I'm probably not going to go in that level today anyways, because I mean, I already have to go back and get two treasures, so... Probably wouldn't be a good idea to, you know, go into Firework Palace. Fireworks, that's nice. Reminds me of, well, I don't know, what are we today? The We're the 7th of July, so I can't really make a 4th of July reference, because that was a while ago. But I mean, it wasn't that long ago, so... Th there are your late 4th of July Kirby fireworks, I guess. So anyways, um... Ah, uh, I... So how did I miss that many treasures in there? I don't even know. Anyways, let's head on back. I'm just gonna get those treasures in the outro like I usually do. Quickly Kirby our way over here. I think it's been a while. I kind of don't want to do Zeke today, so I'm probably gonna do the other guy. Just because, well, <laughs> yeah. With the way my throat's been acting up with all these allergies going on, I don't think I'm going to be able to do Zeke's voice, and it would totally ruin it if I failed at doing him. So we're just going to visit Beedrix, the voice actor, because, you know, that's going to be so much better. <laughs> so, what do you want? And he doesn't say anything. That's good. Pyramid Sands. This is new level, I guess. We can do that. We can do that. I, I don't see why not. Why not do that? What do we have to do with this guy again? Oh yeah, get a certain amount of beads in a certain amount of time. Because this guy is just, you know, greedy and he wants beads. I guess beads is like a currency in yarn land. Whoa! It's not how you keep your beads, Kirby. So, maybe it's a bad idea to go all carring out on this. But, it's working for me. I enjoy being a car. Oh, who who would not enjoy being a car? There! Oh, that just wins it right there. Yeah, those bag guys who, uh... I, I don't know where they come from. I'm not sure if they're native to basically every Kirby game. I don't quite remember, but I, I know Nintendo likes having money bag enemies that just give you tons of basically anything if you kill them. Um... Thanks a lot, Kirby. That was really fun. <laughs> I found this while you were out there. You go ahead and take it, Kirby. Okay. Sure, That that's nice, Beedrix. Why, thank you. I like hotland fabrics. Yeah. I really hope we get the chance to be collecting again sometime. <laughs> okay, this guy still doesn't creep me out at all. Anyways, um, I don't know, I guess that's kind of it. Nah, I, you know, I have time to kind of go and do another one. I mean, Big Bean Vine, how hard can that be? We all remember how much of a joke this was in the hide-and-seek. So let's make voice actor dude happy again and do some more stuff, except let's hope he sounds happy this time instead of sounding like a total creepo. So he, he wants to go get him some more beads, so let's do that. Yo, I want your drill. Don't! Not how you do drill things. Oh, no. Oh, I suck. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get beads from these enemies along the way, which would help in, you know, getting to your goal of beadness. Oh, no! No, this is not gonna help. No! Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wait here for it to restart, because that was not anything but a fail.
Alright, so let's not suck this time. Speak of not sucking, okay, um, kill him, grab his beads, well, not many beads, but, you know, we're, we're still getting beads off the deal, so it's not that bad. So long as we're actually getting some, as opposed to not getting any beads at all. It's probably important to go up here before killing the poor little waddle dee dude who is a waddle dee dee, waddle dee doo, this is the waddle dee shop, what? I don't know, I was just, I don't know what I was referencing there, maybe the Twilight Princess shop clerk. I'm not actually quite sure. Yeah, so. I, I should be ashamed of actually uploading this video. This has been nothing but fail commentary all over. Yeah, it, remind me, bad idea to record early in the morning. Just really bad idea. What about- No, no, I'm running out of time. Jeez. No, I, got, I gotta get these. Gotta get these. No. Oh, okay, I made it somehow. I thought that was telling me my time was up. Whatever. Success! by like nothing anyways we got more beads and uh yeah that, that's cool so what say you split personality um i mean voice actor guy thanks a lot kirby that was really fun okay that sounds creepy i found this while you were out you go ahead and take this kirby okay i'll i'll take your flower power grassland fabric we're just getting cool fabrics now, it's an overall fun time. I really hope you get the chance to be collected again sometime soon! Okay, so apparently voice actor dude was trying to do like a whole Zeke thing there, and he kind of failed because, you know, only Zeke can do a Zeke thing. Slash me when I'm not tired. I guess that kind of ends it off, so yeah, this has been an interesting episode not really i hope you guys um kind of enjoyed it i'm really sorry if you didn't because my commentary sucked i don't know maybe i'm being too hard on myself post a comment saying i'm too hard on myself if you think i'm too hard on myself and post another comment saying you suck total crap if you think i am totally sucking crap right now um i'm probably not sucking crap but you know the figurative sense anywho so yeah I'm just kind of stalling right now because I know it probably will take a bit of time for the videos of me getting the treasures to go through and I don't want to end it off prematurely and have to like speed up the videos 10,000 times faster. So yeah, Kirby's yawning now, so he's kind of, even Kirby's getting bored of my commentary, either that or he's tired too. He's like, why are you recording this early? You're dumb. I want to sleep some more. Yes, Kirby, that's probably a great idea. I should take you up on that. Anywho, so yep, yeah, I'll see you guys later, and this has been Kirby's Epic Yarn, and now he's skip roping, so apparently he went from tired to, like, tripping on skip ropes. Anyways.